Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to understand one scenario based network engineer interview question. Recently, one of my paid student received this question in interview. That's why I'm making this video. So make sure if you are preparing for network engineer interview or if you are planning to attend network engineer interview, you will watch this video till the and today we are going to discuss this question here all right i will you know make you understand the step by step answer of this question so definitely if interview will ask you this type of question next time you will answer okay so first of all let me make you understand the question so here you can see question is when user from 10.1.1.0 slash 24 network ping to user of 10.1.2.0 slash 24 network first of all guys understand scenario this is my scenario in the scenario i have three router router one router two and router three between routers you can see the network ip configuration right between router one and router two i am running 12 network here i am running 12.1 here i am running 12.2 between router router two and router three i am running 23 network here i am running ip dot two and dot three over here okay this is my LAN one here. I am running IP from 10.1.1.0/24 network. This is my LAN two here. I am running IP from 10.1.2.0/24 network. Okay, guys. Now question is when user from this network means suppose here I have one user will ping to the user of this network 10.1.2.0/24. Okay. So what? How router two will process the packet? So when this user will ping to this user, how router 2 is going to process the packet? Question is very simple and this question is from packet flow. So if you know the packet flow, you can answer to this question, right? But don't worry guys, in case if you don't know the answer, today in this video, I am going to make you understand a step by a step, you know, process how router 2 will process the packet. Okay. So without wasting our time, let's begin the topic here you can see for connectivity we are running ospf process one so on all routers i am running ospf process one for connectivity first of all let me verify that that is connectivity there or not so on any router let me take you on router number one so ip rot ospf you can see 10.1.2.0 network is there yes or no in the same one router number two also you can see 10.1.1.0 is also there and 10.1.2.0 is also there. For 10.1.1.0 next hop IP address is 12.1 and for 10.1.2.0 next hop IP is 23.3. Okay. Now guys see what will happen when router, sorry, user from this network ping to other LAN. So suppose here I have one user whose IP address is 10.1.1.2 and here i have one user whose ip address is 10.1.2. let's say 2 so when i will ping 10.1.2.2 from here right what will be the source ip actually what this machine will do this machine will generate one icmp request yes or no in the icmp request Source IP will be what? 10.1.1.2. Destination IP will be what? 10.1.2.2. Source MAC will be what? MAC address of my interface. So suppose MAC address of this machine is A. So A. And destination MAC will be the MAC address of default gateway. Suppose MAC address of default gateway is D. So MAC destination MAC will be D. Then after that, this machine will forward this frame to switch. Switch will forward to router one what router one will do router one will check layer two information first so destination mac is d so okay if destination mac will match right then only router one will accept this frame at layer two if destination is broadcast or destination is d then only router one will accept it at layer two so okay destination is d, d. so okay this is my my on back address so someone have sent traffic to me so it will remove layer two information layer two header and it will check destination ip destination ip is 10.1.2.1 and guys always keep in mind whenever router will check destination so desti if destination is itself if destination is router one then it is not going to check the ttl value but if destination is not router one then first of all router will check ttl value 
okay so if destination is not this router so destination is 10.1.2.2 definitely destination is not router number one so it will hand over this packet to packet rewriter it will hand over this packet to packet rewriter what packet rewriter will do Re packet rewriter will decrement ttl by one again this sorter will calculate what check some value and source ip and destination ip will be same source ip will be 10.1.1.2 and destination ip will be 10.1.2.2 and router will add what one new layer 2 header ttl value will become 254 over here and it will add what new ethernet header where source will be the mac address of exit interface and destination will be destination mac will be the mac address of default gateway so this one is default gateway so suppose mac address of this interface is c mac address of this interface is e so source mac will be c and destination mac will be what e again when router 2 will receive it first of all router 2 will check layer 2 information okay so layer 2 information destination is what e it will check type field in the type field there will be information of ip protocol so it will remove ethernet header and it will hand over the packet to ip protocol now ip protocol will check what destination so destination is 10.1.2.1 so router 2 is not destination so router 2 is going to check ttl value because ttl value should be greater than 1 then if i am not destination then i will drop the drop the packet if ttl value is 1 or TTL value is 0 so whenever router will check destination and destination IP address is not that that router then router will directly check TTL value if TTL value is greater than 1 then it will check routing table and before checking routing table first of all router will hand over it to packet rewriter what packet rewriter will do packet rewriter will decrement TTL by 1 it will again calculate what uh, check some value and it will add one new ethernet header over here okay so from here it will send the packet source ip and destination ip will be same ttl will become what 253 ttl will become 253 and at layer 2 source mac will be the mac address of this interface and destination mac will be the mac address of this interface so question is how router 2 will process the packet whenever user from this network pin to this user of this network so first of all router 2 will check layer 2 information if layer 2 destination mac address is the mac address of router 2 router 2 will accept it and it will remove the layer 2 header and it will hand over the packet to layer 3 at layer 3 router will check what destination ip if destination ip address is not belongs to that router then router will check ttl value so if ttl value is also greater than one then router will network clear actually ip protocol will hand over packet to packet rewriter packet rewriter will do what it will calculate check some value again and it will decrement ttl by one and after that it will add layer to header source mac will be the mac address of exit interface and destination mac will be the mac address of default gateway this is how router 2 is going to process the packet whenever user from this network ping to this network okay now if you want to see capturing i have capturing as well so see this is traffic on f0 slash 0 interface this is traffic on f0 slash 0 interface and i have capturing of traffic on f0 slash 1 as well first of all i am going to show you the traffic on f0 slash 0 interface guys okay let me copy this diagram okay this is my topology first of all i am going to show you the traffic on f0 slash 0 so see when i am pinging which ip address 10.1.2.1 and source is 10.1.1.1 so ping is working now this is traffic at f0 slash 0 okay so here you can see source ip is 10.1.1.1 destination ip is 10.1.1.2 yes or no and ttl value so ttl value over here is 
255. Actually, I am pinging from router number 1. I am pinging from router number 1. So, TTL will be 255 on router number 1 on F0 slash 0. So, here on F0 slash 0, TTL value will be what? 255, right? Source MAC will be what? Source MAC is this one, destination MAC is this one. Okay, source IP is 10.1.1.1, .1 destination is this one. And checksum value is what? Header checksum. Checksum is this one. Checksum is 0xA. Let me write checksum over here as well. checksum value is 0 wait guys not bad checksum is 0x a 495 is the checksum value ttl is what TTL 255 yes or no source MAC is source source IP is 10.1.1.1 and destination IP is 10.1.2.1 source MAC is CA colon 01 colon 28 colon 52 colon 00 colon 1c. This is the source MAC address. Destination MAC address is C A colon 0 2 colon 2 7 colon 80 colon 00 colon 00. This is the destination MAC address. This is the source MAC address, this is destination IP address, this is source IP address, this is checksum value, this is TTL value at F0 slash 0 of router number 1. Yes or no? Now let me show you the traffic on F0 slash 1. F1 slash 0, sorry, F1 slash 0. So here, if you will open this, this packet, TTL value is what over here? 255. This is at F0 slash 0. And now let me show you the traffic on F1 slash 0. Here TTL value is 254. Checksum value is what here? Checksum value is different, yes or no? It will run CRC algorithm and it will again calculate checksum value. So this time checksum value is 0 x a 595. You can see that this checksum value is different from this checksum value or not. Both are not same. Both are different. Here you can see the value a 4. Here is a 5. Done. Here source MAC is what? Source IP is. Source IP will be same. 10.1.1.1. Destination IP will be also same. 10.1.2.1. And source MAC and destination MAC will be different. Yes or no? Source MAC over here is C A. Let, let me write the last two field 00, zero colon 1C. And the destination MAC is 00, zero colon 1C. Yes. Now, guys, come here. See, this is traffic at F0 slash 0. And this is traffic at F1 slash 0. Done. Now let me take you on daughter number 1. See the MAC address. Source MAC address. Source MAC address will be what? MAC address of exit interface. When router 1 will send traffic to router 2. Here source MAC will be the MAC address of this interface. So let me verify it. So 
interface f1 slash 0 here you can see the MAC address this MAC address and the MAC address which is coming in packet this one is there any difference or both are same so both are same yes or no so source MAC address is MAC address of router 1 now destination MAC destination MAC address will be the MAC address of router 2 f0 slash 0 interface so let me show you the MAC address of router 2 f0 slash 0 interface as well guys on router number 2 here if you build a command so interface f0 slash 0 and include address is see the MAC address destination MAC address at f0 slash 0 destination MAC address is MAC address of router 2 is there any difference no destination MAC is this one this MAC address and the MAC address of router 2 f0 slash 0 is same done and source IP destination IP is same at f0 slash 0 source MAC is what MAC address of exit interface so MAC address of interface f1 slash 0 so see source MAC address is this one in at traffic f at uh, f1 slash 0 at router 2 source MAC at the last you can see 001c and destination MAC destination MAC will be the MAC address of router 3 f1 slash 0 so here also if you want to check MAC address so interface f0 slash 0 include addresses see the destination MAC address is all 0 sorry not f0 slash 0 it will be f1 slash 0 here you can see in the topology as well yes or no this one is f1 slash 0 of router 3 so here you can see the MAC address 001c 001c okay so this is how router 2 will is processing the traffic and actually you know router will not check their routing table to forward traffic actually router 2 will check their SAP table so IP SAP this table So IP, just wait one second. Okay, you can run command so IP, SAF, and uh, here you can see 10.1.2.0. For this, next of IP address is 23.1.1.3, and on which interface on F1 slash 0. Okay, so this is how router 2 will process the traffic. Okay guys, so that's all for today. If you have learned something from this video, please hit on like button and make sure prepare yourself if you are preparing for network engineer interview. Interviewer can ask you lots of questions from packet flow. Okay, so bye bye guys. That's all for today. We will meet soon in next video. Till then, stay safe.